the critically acclaimed movie Lion tells the true story of a five-year-old boy in India who gets lost on a train. It takes him thousands of miles away from his home. Frightened and alone, he survives on the streets until he's adopted by an Australian couple that's played by Nicole Kidman, who plays his adoptive mom. So you've come a long way, haven't you? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it hasn't been easy. And one day you'll tell me all about it. You tell me everything, who you are, everything. I'll always listen. A lot of people are listening now, more than two decades later, with only his memories in Google Earth. Saru Brierley set out to find his lost family. Lion is up for six Academy Awards, including nominations for Best Picture, Adapted Screenplay, Supporting Actor for stars Deb Patel and Nicole Kidman. But today, we are very pleased to welcome the real Saru Brierley. It's his story that they're telling on the screen. Hello, Saru. Hey. Yeah, welcome. Hello. Hello. What a pleasure to yeah. meet you. How old are you now? Uh, 35. 35. So take us back to your five-year-old self when you're lost on the streets. I marvel that he was you, he. You were able to survive your instincts that saved your life. How were you able to do that at five? What was your thought process back then? Um, I think because I was just uh, street smart, um, mm -hmm. you know, slightly. And... Um, I used my sort of instincts as well to sort of guide me and listen to myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in, being in situations like that, you didn't have time to think. Right. Um, you had to, you know, act on impulse really quickly. Um, How so, clearly do you remember that yeah. point in time? Extremely clearly because yeah. um, I never went to school. So yeah. uh, I sort of had more visual um, sort of memory as, a, as opposed to auditorial. Mm -hmm. And um, because I, you know, I never conversed with anyone, um, let alone my sister, who couldn't even string a sentence together. Um, I, I think my visual memory is more prominent mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, talking. So um, I, I think that really helped, in fact. Yeah, but you got into some very dangerous situations, and I just wonder, at five, how you were able to really save your own life. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's the, the resilience of me and... Um, the resilience and, of you. And, you know, the guidance... Um, of being sort of, you know, the the energy of the universe yeah. like, as well. Mm -hmm. What made you start searching for your first home? It was um, it, there was this massive anomaly, you know, on the side there that how can a child um, be sort of, you know, out of from his uh, nuclear family be brought um, brought up and then all of a sudden taken and put into a sort of a, a zone where he's unfamiliar with and going through all hardship um, and then coming to Australia it just doesn't seem right and um, and you know the yearning, the wanting, the nostalgia as well of wanting to find out, you know, if my family's OK, my sister's OK, right. the bond between, you know, mother and son yeah. mm -hmm. uh, was, you know, so sort of braced um, that, um, that, you know, you had to find answers and closure. Yeah. I, yeah, I wondered about the bond between mother and son because you were five and you don't see your mother for 25 years. I was worried, did you recognize her right away? Because she must have looked very different. Oh, extremely. You know, I was so short that I was actually, you know, playing uh, around Asari chasing my little sister mm -hmm. and she used to look like a giant. And yeah. then yeah. when I saw her the first time, yeah. um, she was just so short. Yeah. And I'm just so tall. But, you know, her facial structures... They were still there, yeah. and, um, and I recognised that within, you know, seconds. But, um, but you know, it has been 25 years or so. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. In 2013, your, your adopted mother and your birth mother finally met. Yeah. Yes. How, how, how was that meeting? Oh, that was just a, an amazing time because, you know, my adoptive mother always wanted to meet my biological mother. And she used to say, like, in rainy days, it's like, Saru, I would really love to meet your, your biological mother because I can show her what an amazing man that you've grown up to be. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, Must have been an amazing day for you too. That makes me I know, cry. Man, I feel yeah. that too. Did your biological mother always think that somehow you were alive? Did she still always believe, even yes. though you'd been gone that long? Yes. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, you can take some Indians as being quite sort of superstitious in ways. Sure. But she always believed, and a fortune teller actually told her that, you know, one day you'd be reunited. That's why and she didn't move. She didn't move. But, yeah. um, but also, you know, it's, I think the sort of astral projections as well of myself and, you know, the telepathic sort of connections that we had too, 
um, wanted to make sure she for her to stay there just in case yeah. you know that I sort of returned not today or tomorrow in a year but you know hopefully in time that we I have to talk about Google have... Earth so Google what, Earth that's how you found her what, what's Google it Earth? like for you to see all of this up on the big screen <laughs> yeah, look, and I'm excited so I'm glowing yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I think it's amazing because the stories just resonated in so yeah. many people yeah to the point of um, you know, the production of the story, it's, it's been sort of, you know, um, seen by accredited... Oh, sorry, um, by the, the awards, um, Academy Awards, uh, for sort of, you know, all the categories that it's been awarded in. Um, and I think that's great because, you know, everyone's done such an amazing job yeah. from the actors to the producers, and I think kudos to them. Do you right. love Google? I, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, initially I was just looking at my house, the roof, um, and then... Then all of a sudden, it became you something a bit more Thank obsessive you. and regimented. But right. Google has been Thank years. you so much Thank for you. coming and joining us tomorrow. Lion is in theaters nationwide. You're watching CBS this morning.